Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this home decor. Today, I wanted to share with you this wall art ideas. And for this, I'm going to be using a bunch of tops that I don't use anymore. This one, for instance, um, I love the Mickey Mouse and I got it at Disney. So it's like a memory that I have, but it's like way too sheer for me. I can't use it because I have to use something underneath and it's not practical. And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty sheer, but I love the design. So I thought of just cutting out the Mickey in there. This one I never use because it fits really weird on my like body type, but I love the pattern on it. So I thought of just using it. This one I love Ghostbusters, but the top itself, I never used it. It fits weird. I even did that on the back. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, I just want to, uh, you know, recycle this one because I love the sign. This one used to be actually a three quarter length sleeve, and then I cut it the sleeves, but I ended up not wearing it either. But I love black and white print. It's one of my favorite prints, and that's why I kept this one. And this one is pretty weird, as you can see, it's just the front part because I cut it the back of it. This used to be a top. I used to love it, but then I got over it and I stopped using it, and I started doing something with it. As you can see, it's not even even, like in the top part is pretty weird and it's got the pretty uh, image of like the face of a tiger a pretty cute one and that's why i bought it actually so in the ones that it's an image i'm going to just cut a square in there and then this one in the front is like this but i'm going to be using the actually the back of it so i'm just going to be cutting this with my scissors and i'm just going to be keeping a small portion of it basically so i'm going to be doing the same thing with this striped one and then i'm going to be using some foam board i just cut it my board in like like squares just so they can fit into the like pieces of fabric i'm going to be gluing those pieces of fabric on top of like the square first i'm going to arrange how i want my piece of fabric now to be and then i'm going to be gluing the whole thing first the top part and then the bottom part like that Once I have glued the whole thing, I'm going to be working on the edges, wrap the whole thing uh, using my glue and just going all the way around. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing the same thing for this once. For the Mickey, it's going to be different though, because uh, I want just the shape of the Mickey itself. For that, I'm going to first, well, cut the shape of the Mickey from my top, as close to the shape of Mickey as I possibly can, but I'm not cutting to the shape of Mickey, that makes sense. I'm going to be taking a bigger uh, size of foam board, the bigger size that I had, and I'm going to uh, use my cutter, and I'm just going to cut the excess of like foam that I have all around. This is not glued yet. Just because I found it easier to do this this way. First, like cut the shape on the foam, being real careful, and then just glue it the same way that I glued the other ones. Like first the top part and then the bottom part. And then because I had a lot of like foam peeking through the edges of like my Mickey Mouse and I didn't want it, I wanted to get the excess of foam as possible. So I just worked on the edge of my table, my pretty ugly table going with my cutter and just cutting like this as close to the shape of Mickey as I could possibly do it and this just so you know gets messy but yeah once I have done that I'm just going to be painting with black acrylic paint and my brush all throughout the edges giving this a few coats until it's opaque enough and then to hang them by avoiding having a bunch of holes all over the place I just thought of using this tape it's supposed to like hold a lot of like weight on it but I'm guessing this works better over like smooth surfaces and because the foam isn't exactly a smooth surface I'm going to be doing this where I'm going to add some glue on like the back of my pieces a bit on the top and a bit on the bottom in there and I'm just going to go with my brush and I'm just going to brush that glue if that makes any sense so this is going to be creating a smoother surface on top of my foam and you know what i thought of adding like tape and have that as my smooth surface but i don't think tape is gonna hold as much so i just started adding glue waiting for that to dry and then you know taping those pieces in there and yeah i'm just going to be then following the instructions of my tape and then i'm going to be pushing it onto the wall this should be fine because they're pretty lightweight and yeah these are the ideas that i want to share with you i'm really glad i did it because as stops i never use them now i can have the signs that i like but just be a bit more practical and useful about it 
and this is great when you have a bunch of like white spaces all around the house and you don't know what to do with them and you have like all t-shirts that you don't know what to do with them either i actually have a bag full of clothes that i don't wear anymore and i'm probably going to be doing the same thing with those as well I'm real happy with all of them. I especially love the Mickey Mouse because I love Mickey. I think he looks super cute like this. So yeah, if you liked him too, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff I upload weekly and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.